What is going on with T-Mobile? They've got a very interesting uh, business plan, I guess, going forward, and it doesn't seem like the smartest thing that anyone could do. It, it honestly seems like a pretty dumb plan, but for some reason, they're in, in, enacting this, and maybe the reason is for more power, I guess, but it's T-Mobile, right? It's not like it's Verizon or AT&T. Those are the big guys in this space. T-Mobile's doing this and possibly shooting themselves in the foot by doing that. But this is something that they put out talking about what their big bad plans are, saying that in beginning January 1st, 2024, T-Mobile is instituting three new fees for non-compliant traffic that results in a, uh, a severity zero violation. That violation represents that the most harmful violation to consumers and is the highest level of escalation with which a carrier will engage with bandwidth applies across all products that traverse over t-mobile's network so i guess basically like anything that they don't like if you're using their service they're gonna find you right which makes no sense like this is someone's paying you to use your service and you're going to find them after they're already paying you it's just very weird but these are the tiers that they came up with here i think for tier one you get two thousand dollars that's the fine for phishing smishing and social engineering which they put here is the practice of targeting individuals in a way that manipulates individuals to reveal private information like credit card numbers or social security numbers so tier one sure we're we'll looking at that and say you know those are very bad things that are happening how are you going to exactly know that someone is doing this on your network? Maybe there's a way, I don't know. But still, should you be fining people, right? That's This is illegal. This is already fraud. You can report them and to, to the authorities, and then there you go. That's what you should do if you want. Not fine them to make more money. Do you know what would be right and report them so that there's some sort of justice from there. But this is apparently all about money. And here you have tier two is a thousand dollar fine for illegal content, which is content that must be legal in all 50 states federally. And that this content can include uh, anything, I guess, cannabis, marijuana, CBD, illegal prescriptions, and sol solicitation. So again, we have the same problem here, the same thought. If it's illegal and you know it's happening, why don't you just report it? Why are you trying to make money off of this? Why are you sitting here and saying, uh, you know, it's $1,000 if you want to, what, do something with marijuana? Maybe let's say you're, you're dealing marijuana. What if it's legal in there in California or something and it's legal and it's part of their business they're running, but it's not legal federally. So is that still, you're still going to get fined $1,000 for doing something that is legal in your state, but not legal federally? Is that where we're going to go with this? What is What happens in a situation like that? So who knows, right? Who knows? It's all in the, up in the air. T-Mobile can do whatever they want. If they think that you're worthy of a $1,000 fine, they're going to try and make $1,000 off you. And then finally, for the tier that is uh, probably the worst, you have the tier three, which is a $500 violation fine. And it's for all their violations, including two, but not limited to SHAFT, which is an acronym. And then you can it's talk about reviewing their code of conduct. So what is Shaft, right? That's the big question here. And we can see this is part of this tweet here. This person uh, cites it out saying Shaft is an acronym that stands for Sex, Hate, Alcohol, Firearms, and Tobacco. Outlines the categories of text messages specifically related, uh, re regulated due to moral and legal issues and is monitored and enforced by the Cellular Telephone Industries Association and Mobile Carriers. So that's... Uh, pretty weird right like first of all in text messages why are these cell phone companies looking at your own private text messages they shouldn't be doing that right uh that's super weird to begin with but then also saying you know all these things are uh these are illegal this is a 500 hundred dollar fine you talk about sex you you dare to talk about sex in a text message just 500 bucks how dare you how dare you you talk about hate what is hate what is hate who gets to define what hate is? What's hateful? What's hateful enough that it gets a fine, right? Who knows? T-Mobile, they get to decide. One thing might be hateful one day. The next day, it's not so hateful. No fine. So, and on top of this stuff too, I mean, we'll finish out this alcohol. Like, what are you talking about? 
People can't talk about alcohol. That's legal in all 50 states. That's legal. It's fine. You want to drink, drink. Who cares? But you're going to get fined 500 bucks for talking about alcohol. Very weird. Firearms, again, legal. You can't talk about the guns you like or guns that you're out in the rain shooting and stuff. That's that's a $500 fine. You can't do that. Very weird. And again, tobacco, legal. Like, if you want to smoke, sure, it's disgusting. But sure, do it, whatever you want. It's weird to be going after things that are legal. All of these things are legal. Like, there's no reason to say you can't talk about any of this stuff on our network. We're, we're a pure network. <laughs> that just, just no, makes no sense. And it's T-Mobile. So I guess the silver lining here is that it's T-Mobile, right? It's not the big two. It's not Verizon or AT&T. But if T-Mobile rolls this out and there's not backlash and people just fall down and obey it and do whatever and say, oh, I guess I can't do any of this anymore, then the big two are going to implement it because one, they can have more control and then two, they can make more money. They want to fine you 500 bucks for when you talk about, you know, shaft things. That's, that's weird. But they want to fine you that money. And then what happens with these fines? Is it every time you send a text? If you send a text message about your firearms you love and your favorite whiskey and that you were smoking last night and doing all this stuff, is that a, is that a $1,500 fine? Is that three separate occasions? Is it daily? Can I, do you talk about this every day for a week? Is that going to be $500 a day every day? Is it going to be $500 a month, $500 a year? Is it, like, what are these, these things going on here? At the end of the day here, none of this makes any sense, right? Sitting here and saying that these new, these new policies that T-Mobile just had to put them in there. Oh, it's just too rampant. Who cares? You're a cell phone provider. You're a carrier. People can talk about whatever they want to talk about. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. If they're doing something illegal, then the police need to deal with that, not T-Mobile. It's not your job, right? You're not the police. Uh, and on top of that, you have privacy, right? That's a huge concern. Because there's a lot here for the shaft thing where it's not illegal. Like, it's not illegal to talk about things that you like. It's just so weird. It is extremely weird. And of course... This is what companies are looking to do. Hopefully, this doesn't catch any wind, doesn't have any success, and gets shut down immediately because it's absolutely crazy. But we saw what happened with PayPal. They had similar policies like this to going after people. If you said something they didn't like on social media, that they could fine you, shut down your account, freeze out your account. They got a bunch of backlash, eventually rolled it back, and a few months later, they just put it right out quietly, and no one's talking about it, right? It's part of PayPal's policies right now. No one talks about it. So that's probably the bigger plan here is to roll this out as their TOS so that you get involved. Probably not do anything immediately because the backlash would be insane, but have it there so that when you want to use it, you can. You know, later you can. Later on, whenever something happens, you can do whatever you want. Uh, hopefully it's not something that actually comes to fruition because it's absolutely insane. Like, you should not be reading private text messages of your customers because that's one just insanely weird and an evasion of privacy you should not be able to do that and it's just insane that apparently that's their whole plan is to, to now police your text messages but we'll see what happens with it. Ho hopefully nothing ever comes in and it gets shut down rightfully so but we all know that's probably not going to happen but that's going to do it for this video as always don't forget to smash like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video